Rumors of a Nokia 10-inch Windows RT tablet emerge, a Galaxy Frame device also rumored for CES 2013, and HTC scratches some phones from their future plans. I'm Jaime Rivera, and according to those who think they know the Mayans were two days away from John Cusack's movie, this is Pocket Now Daily. Let the 2013 rumor mill begin, this time because we have Nokia and a possible tablet to be built sometime within the year, probably CES 2013 with a launch date, or probably, you never know, could be MWC. We're not sure on those launch dates, but this rumor of a tablet made by Nokia is actually quite old. And before they started building tablets, I wish they figured out how to sell phones, but we'll see what happens. And Samsung makes rumor number two because this time we have a probable device called the Samsung Galaxy Frame to be released. Now, what could be a phone that's also called a frame? What could that stand for? The only thing could be that Sammy probably already figured out a way to make this phone without a bezel, or it could just be that it's a tablet that could also be used as a frame. We're not really sure. CS 2013 is a probable launch date and we'll keep you posted. Now, what's not a rumor and always well received the software updates. T-Mobile recently launched the software update for their Windows Phone 8X to comply with the international variant, so make sure you download that. And then after Microsoft recently launched the full software upgrade to OEMs, Nokia has just complied with their Lumia 920 and Lumia 820. Yes, this update includes enhancements to the camera performance, so it is important for you to upgrade right now. Now the biggest rumor in tech is a Retina Display iPad Mini, and every time that I'm reading these news in my pixelated iPad Mini, I get pissed off. Analysts already believe that Apple will launch this device sometime in mid-2013, and we're already assuming that they could probably still have their March iPad event, as they've had ever since the first generation iPad, even though that was in February. But still, the Retina Display is coming, we're not really sure if the new iPad or Retina Display iPad will change in design, we're assuming so, and we will keep you posted. And finally, for the depressing news of the day, HTC seems to already be taking some measures in order to deal with their economical strains. They've had some terrible quarters lately, and Digitimes is already reporting that they're dropping some phones from their 2013 lineup, obviously, because they have economical issues. And that leads me to the question of the day. Wouldn't you prefer for HTC to build just one device, one phone that would be perfect, that would be hot, and that would have everything that the market wants? Uh, well, if Apple could pull this off, I don't understand why HTC can't do it so leave us a comment down below would you prefer a ton of devices or just one i would prefer one and if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com please make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw i'm jaime rivera thanks for watching and stay tuned tomorrow as we go through the samsung ativest review